Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel. Um, as per usual, I really do appreciate all your support um, for the channel uh, and I do hope this reading can be insightful for you uh, in regards to matters of love. So we'll see what the cards can reveal. Um, please keep in mind though, this is a general reading and if you would like a private reading with me, so if that's what you're looking for, then please feel free to reach out. All the info is in the show notes section below. Um, otherwise, let's have a look and see, Libra, what's coming up around uh, you um, in regards to love, Libra. Okay, two, uh, sorry, ten of wands reversed, eight of wands, nine of wands reversed, and the queen of swords reversed. Okay, Libra. I feel like you're letting something go. I don't know if you're necessarily ready for it because you have come up as the Queen of Swords reversed. I think mentally you haven't prepared yourself for something, um, but you're actually finding that you're letting something go and things are becoming easier or more free flowing. Um, the burdensome energy is shifting. So the heaviness that you've been living with may be um, complexities. Uh, it, if it is around a fire sign, you have um, three fire cards, Aries, Sag or Leo. Um, it could be one of these signs. Now, uh, what's coming up is that um, this the, the Ten of Wands is reversed and really normally when it's upright, it's about heaviness and strain and things becoming too complex in love. But it's almost like it's it's upside down. So all that complexity will fall away. And I feel like this is dropping the guard. I feel like you're dropping your guard about a situation. Now, the Nine of Wands can represent things like suspicion, um, uncertainty, keeping our guard up. But that's actually reversed. And what you do have is the Eight of Wands, which is a card of action and sort of like wish making. Wish making and wish fulfillment um, is what I'm seeing here, Libra. So um, I think if you're wishing to overcome an obstacle or you're wishing to let something go, um, whether it's forgive, whether it's move on, um, whether it's proceed ahead, uh, I think that could be coming up in the cards here. I think that's what's... Um, I think that's what's coming up in the cards here. So learning to let go um, in a way, um, but also it's not so much learning to let go. I think you are letting go, at least spiritually speaking, maybe, um, or energetically. You're, I think this is like if you're holding on to hatred or you're holding on to some sort of feelings that aren't healthy for you, um, Libra, there might be a message here that you're letting things go. And when you do, I think that's when you can come up reversed. Queen of Swords, like I said, you may not feel like you're ready because if it's reversed, it's the Queen of Swords reversed. This is lack of confidence, lack of direction. Um, but really, it's it's aligning with something here. And what is coming up um, is wish fulfillment. So it's aligning with your wishes in some way. It's almost like things get easier and then your wishes come true. Um a part of you could feel like someone is taking action where you wished you wish to see something um, through someone's behavior, I think, and that that could be happening. And then suddenly um, it's going to make you drop your guard or it could be that someone really wants to please you here. Someone wants to fulfill your wishes. Um, and in doing that, in trying to fulfill those wishes, in doing that, it's like. They're helping you let down your guard. There could be something very special that's done for you uh, this week. But you weren't necessarily mentally prepared for it. It's it's in alignment with what you want, but you're you're you still might be somewhat surprised to receive it, or it's almost like you you won't really understand it, understand maybe someone's intentions, but they mean well. Maybe there's a, in, a wish intention here. Um, Libra, it could also be for you. Maybe you are trying to make that wish come true. You know, see the wish on the dandelion, and then she's got the staff here, and she's almost going to go out there, and um, it's almost like the universe is, is going to play its part to make it happen for you. So there could be a lot of things shifting here. Um, shifting in your favor or shifting into alignment with what you're wishing. Uh, 
I don't know if this is like Leo-like energy, this creature is Leo. I think it's reversed, so it can be a bit of ego. I think it, it might be a message here that you need to um, maybe like drop the ego, drop the attitude. If it's not you, it might be someone you're dealing with, Libra. Um, or maybe it's it's letting egotistical energy just go past you and not letting that affect you as much. So egotistical energy, maybe from your side. Queen of Swords, this could real communication. Communication is currently reversed, but behavior is there. You might not be hearing the words that you want to hear, Libra, and it might make you feel a certain way. Maybe this, you, you might not necessarily feel like yourself. Um, but the wish, the wishes are still here. You might not necessarily feel like yourself or feel like mentally, but in the in the um in the physical realm, it's more like to do with action. Something is going to come true here, but it's almost like you haven't reconciled. You may even be in shock, but there's something that you're really, really wanting. But maybe in order to get that wish fulfilled, you need to drop your guard. Um, or make things a little bit lighter on yourself. Maybe you've been too hard on yourself in a situation and maybe this is why you're reversed. You're not feeling confident in yourself, Libra. Um, maybe someone's given you reason to second guess yourself, um, who you are as a person, who you are as a lover, as a partner, as a spouse. And maybe all these questions are coming up and it's sort of turning you on your head a little bit. And I feel with the Queen of Swords reversed, it's very much, you know, everything's rushing to her head here. So there's a lot of thoughts and presumptions and messages and, and conversations that she'll replay and she'll dwell on. And maybe um, that's what's happening for you this week, Libra. So something that you need to keep an eye out on um, as the week progresses. I will leave your reading at that though. So I do hope it has been helpful, Libra. Please remember this is a general reading for private readings. My email list of prices and services are all below in the showing more section. Please feel free to browse the channel for your other readings which have been linked to this video. Um, otherwise, I do hope to be able to catch you soon.